Robin here from World Whiskey Day. Today we're at the Jewers Distillery in Aberfeldy, learning how whiskey goes from green to glass. Next up on our journey, aging. So George, we have seen the distillation process with the whiskey and now we're downstairs in the warehouse for the aging. So what's going on here? Absolutely. So of course, up to this point, we have that clear spirit mm -hmm. yeah, and it does, that does have all the cats and flavors that make up a Feldy single malt it is, mm -hmm. but it's the oak cask, it's the wood itself, which is now going to give that spirit color and a lot of the flavor, the character that, that turns it into whiskey, mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you'd like. Um, so the casks we use are very important. Uh, we don't use sec we don't use uh, brand new oak casks normally, as brand new oak will give the flavour very quickly, and mm. even after five or ten years, it could overpower the flavours in the whisky. Mm. So we choose to use second hand casks, which we take from all over the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these could have contained previously, well, in this case, bourbon whiskey, perhaps. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Um, we take uh, yes, we take in casks from uh, the United States, from bourbon, Tennessee whiskey. By law, they only use their casks once. Mm -hmm. So we've got a ready supply of this 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 oak that gives uh, lighter colours or floral vanilla characteristics coming in from the States and we'll then use that another three maybe even four times mm. um, in Scotland but as well as uh, American barrels we also use um, wood from Europe from sherry mm -hmm. can be port or even wine casks and European oak can certainly give uh, darker colors more fruity and even spicy characters as well so the, the type of cask and um, the type of oak it is mm -hmm. as well as the, the liquid that's in it before will affect the flavor um, that you whiskey will get. Um, yeah, so we do char the insides of the casks um, and that charring can help the, the spirit to penetrate the wood but also acts like a natural charcoal filter as well. Mm -hmm. The Americans also char their casks so that it can help to caramelize some natural sugars in the wood and mm -hmm. that's some of where the, the, the sweetness can come through yeah. as well. Um, you can get certain characters similar to that but quite different from the smoky characters you get from uh, smoking the, the barley which you, uh, sure, most yeah. usually the I Love Whiskies uh, do quite yeah, a lot of. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, you can get some similar flavor profiles uh, depending on what you do with the cask. Mm -hmm. And witness. then is this Angel Share, is it? Well, yes, you've heard of the Angel Share. So for every year that the spirit sits inside the cask, we're going to lose maybe, lose maybe up to 2% of the whiskey. That's each year. So after you know, 12 to 18 years, we may have lost a fifth <laughs> of our whiskey. Right? Um, and so you can imagine, because we haven't yet paid any tax on the alcohol, mm -hmm. instead of blaming you know, kind of you or one of the guys in the warehouse who can pay tax, we blame it on the angels, because <laughs> they can't pay tax anymore. Yeah? <laughs> and so when we do take this out of the warehouse at the end of aging, after the evaporation, after the angel share is gone, of course we only pay, and pay the duty on what's, what's left before it's then bottled either by itself or blended together. So George, we've found out how it's matured. Is there any chance for a wee dram? Oh, I think we can get you a wee dram, absolutely. <laughs> So we've seen the whole process now, Robin. I guess it's just one thing left to do and let's have a drink. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>